Praise the Lord. I greet you, my dear friends, in the holy, mighty name of Jesus. We read in 1st John chapter 5 verse 4. He who is born of God conquers the world. What conquers the world? It's our faith that we are born of God. We hear from the book of Isaiah chapter 6. The chapter begins like this. When the king Uzziah died. Yes, the prophet Isaiah, who is supposed to be with the people of God, is in the palace. And he loves to be in the palace because the king Uzziah is supplying everything for him, the food, the comfort. He can give word of God to the king. It is easy to be in the town. But the Lord said, if this son has to work for me, I need to do something. King Uzziah is no more now. He looks at the world. Uzziah is no more. Who is Uzziah? A king who took care of him. And today where is he? He has been thrown away. Where? Because of his pride, he went to the temple of the Lord and he took the incense from the priest and he started to put incense. And the anger of God came upon him. He became a leper. And he died as a leper. And he was buried in the mud, not even with the box. Yes, Isaiah is looking at what his life is all about. The life in the man, the life of man in the world. That's all. Yesterday you were a king, today you were thrown away and buried just with the bare body and the mud. When that incident took place, it has sh shaken the servant of God Isaiah. In that moment, God said, you can be born of God. Why do you think of yourself? You are born of the world. You are born of the flesh. Yes, you are born for a particular family, particular parents, particular way of life. But you are also have another family. You are born of God. You are born for a purpose. You are born for a goal. When he heard that, he looked up and cried. And he saw the glory of God. The moment we rise up ourselves from our earthly life to the heavenly presence, to our real identity that we have come from him, we have come for a mission, a purpose on this earth. Our eyes get opened. First he saw the glory of God coming and blessing the broken man, the sinful man. Second, he cried about his sin. I'm a sinner. The Lord said, well, you may be a sinner, but you have a savior. God brought the fire from the heaven cleansed him. Now God said, Whom shall I send for? Will you go for me? Now you are born of me. You are chosen by me. You are being loved by me. You are being loved not merely to go back and to live the life of the world. He said, Here I am, Lord. Send me for you. I will go and do whatever you tell me. My dear friends, God is calling each one of us for this great purpose. To belong to Him. Our real identity is in Him. And we have a mission to live for. And only in fulfilling that mission of God, our life finds peace, meaningfulness and satisfaction. Until then, your life will be a battle reaching in the gospel of today, we read, we read in John's gospel chapter 1, already Jesus had chosen Peter. He said, you are Simon, but from now on, you are Peter. Upon this rock, the Lord will build his church. No power of darkness will come near you. God showed Peter a great picture that he is more than 
what his life on this earth his call is much more than his life on this earth but peter even after receiving the call of god he went back to the sea and he got nothing now the boats are tied up the nets he is washing with helplessness no fish to carry to the home anyone who is chosen by god when they return back to the world that is the fate god trusts you and calls you for a call for a purpose and you think you can do whatever you wish to do as you think you can do whatever you do your life sorry your boat will be empty tied up your nets will be just washed up but our god is a merciful god once again he comes to call peter he says take the boat to the deep waters be prepared to commit your life for deeper life man don't leave your life in the shallow waters peter obeys the word of god and plenty of fishes fish to catch people to lead people to heaven to lead people to love to lead people to god's mercy and forgiveness you don't become a man of pride you don't become a man keeping all the hurts upon you with unforgiveness no you should be different you should be born of god you should be born of as a man of love forgiveness and goodness mercy and love leading everyone to heaven peter said i am a sinful man god said don't simply go and say sinful man sinful man get up man you have a greater call you have a greater life move on that's what the book of first corinthians chapter 15 where saint paul says i'm the worst to man i persecuted the church of god is stronger than my sin and my past and he has made me and what i am is by his grace and he did marvelous things my dear friends today through the life of isaiah through the life of peter through the life of paul god is calling all of us know who you are be aware of what the purpose for which god has called you you may have hundred and one problems are born of god you are born for a purpose of god and your life is hidden in god's power god bless you move ahead to transform this world god bless you let's pray god heavenly father i praise and thank you for this beautiful day bless everyone who listens to your word may they all be illumined with your vision with your mission and may they bear much fruit protect them from the powers of darkness and may they always raise their eyes to you and be guided by your light in jesus name